everybody, welcome back to another grilling video. And today we're doing a little bit of a breakfast brunch kind of item. We're gonna be doing a bit of a croque masseur or some kind of a fancier uh, grilled cheese sandwich right out on the griddle. We'll show you how to do this. I actually really like these with tomato and cheese. I think it's a phenomenal taste. And I'll show you how to kick it up just a notch and change it from just an average grilled cheese sandwich to something a little fancier. All right, before we get started with the ingredients, I'll let you know we went ahead and kicked on the Blackstone. We have the two middle burners on low, and we're doing that because we might need to move our items over to the cooler side. So we don't want to turn them all on. All right, let's talk about the ingredients. Pretty simple, let's start with the bread. Use a good sourdough bread. This happens to be an English toasting sandwich bread. It's a nice thicker cut sourdough style bread. Really good sized slices, I really like this. We wanna go ahead and use cheese. In this particular case, we're gonna be doing this not only with Swiss cheese, but yes, I'm using the all-time fake craft uh, Singles. No idea what's actually in these things, but they have an amazing creamy meltiness. So that's definitely something we'll use. We're also gonna slice up a tomato. We're gonna warm this up on the grill for a few minutes before we add it to the sandwich. And the last thing we're gonna do is crack an egg in our bowl because this is what's gonna give us this really nice outer coating or layer on the bread itself. And I'll show you an interesting trick for doing this on the Blackstone. Just whipping this up a little bit. All right, that's all set. And we have butter for putting on our bread. So let's go ahead and start by slicing up our tomato. And when you slice your tomato, you want it a little bit thicker than normal. I like to do about a quarter of an inch thick, maybe a little bit more. I think it's really nice when you grill them. You get them nice and cool on the inside, but a little toasty on the outer edge. So that looks great. We'll just go ahead and salt these guys up a little bit. Flip them over and do the same on this side. Now, because this is gonna cook so fast, we wanna prep as much as we can up front. We definitely wanna butter both sides of our bread. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this uh, really a little bit liberally on this piece, a little bit liberally on the next one. And we're doing this because we wanna get this bread a little bit toasty on the outside of it. Remember, both sides of the bread for sure. And I like to prep the cheese by opening up these little single slices as well. And I've got my Swiss cheese ready to go. I do this because once this is on and it starts cooking, we won't have a whole lot of time. Now, I am a big fan of salting and peppering my bread as well. I think it makes a difference. Not a whole lot yet. We will add more in a bit. By the way, I love these little salt and pepper grinders. Uh, they automatically start grinding when you flip them over. I'll put a link down in the description if anybody's interested in them. They're pretty handy. You just get them cheaply on Amazon. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of butter going on here, and I'm gonna just do a close-up because this is gonna go pretty quick here. Start with getting our tomatoes right on the griddle. Now, if you remember, we had one piece of bread that we didn't butter the other side on it just to keep it nice and neat there on the on the countertop. We'll slip that right on the biggest part of butter on there. Let that just start warming up a little bit. Now, because I'm trying to warm this bread up and not toast it, I'm gonna flip it over fairly quickly here. Perfect, it's soaked up a lot of that butter. That's exactly what we're looking for. We're gonna do this little trick. I don't want this to be like French toast. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of this egg mixture right on the bread. I want that to soak in there. So just spread that along the top here for a minute. When we flip that over, almost gonna be like French toast on the outside, but this is gonna allow it to soak down into that bread a little bit more. want these nice and warmed up here. We flipped our bread over. We're going to salt and pepper both of these. Liberally. Now what we're allowing to have happen is the bottom side of this bread to get nice and warm. When we flip it over, it's going to be perfect for getting that cheese melted nice and quickly. Yeah, it's looking perfect on the inside. Now, we are just gonna get these guys flipped over because we're gonna start piling our cheese on here. Go with our Swiss on the bottom. Nice and spread throughout. I'm a huge fan of getting these tomatoes right on here. Now we 
we go in with this crazy American cheese that will just melt right through here. Now, I'm going to place this guy right on here. Let this start heating up a bit. Over here. Yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. Now with that second side nice and toasted, we're just going to get that guy right up here. Let's get her cut up. All right, with this guy off of here, we're just going to go ahead and cut it up. Cutting right on through there. And just look at that cheesiness. Whew, that looks amazing. <laughs> So I feel like the only thing left to do is give this guy a shot. Like, it's just cheesy and gooey. But. That is phenomenal. The warm tomatoes, they're soft enough that they're not real stretchy. Heck, the cheese is more stretchy or hard to bite through than the, than the uh, tomato. But. Adding the egg to that bread gives it an amazing, amazing flavor. Crunchy on the outside, creamy on the inside. This is phenomenal. You can just see all that tomato juice in there. Tomatoes, nice and toasted, right on the griddle. This is how you kick up your average grilled cheese sandwich. Phenomenally easy to do, delicious, and a few simple ingredients. This is the kind of thing you do when you're like, oh no, those tomatoes are going to go bad soon. Let me make something really quick. Some bread, some cheese, butter, an egg, and whatever fillings you want. Another one to do is toast up some ham on the griddle. Put that right on there. Another wonderful, wonderful addition. Hope you guys give this one a try. This is a good one. We'll see you next time right here on the Grilling Channel. Safe and happy grilling, y'all.